Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to yet again another fantastic indie creator interview. It's your Capers here, Cody, and we're keeping it geekly with our new guest, Seji Boda. We're here to break down on Soro Go and Slumpland. Man, I know we just met a few days ago, but already, you know, I had the chance to read uh, the 51 pages of Slumpland and loved it. Uh, I checked out on Soro Go, and I love what you are doing, you know. Seji, welcome to the stream. How, how are you doing today, man? Thank you. Thank you for having me, Cody. Uh, I'm doing quite well. I'm doing even better now that i know that you enjoyed the story <laughs> you know like that's like my main thing when i put it out i was like you know what I'm saying you know i i of course love it but you know i want my readers to enjoy it too so for the fact that we just you know made our acquaintance a couple days ago and i've already made that impression with it i'm looking forward to you know saying revealing the rest of the story to you so. Absolutely. We have a Jeffrey Robinson saying, yes, I have in chat. You know, long life supporters are like the blood life of like just your passion, and your motivation. Uh, Seji, if I'm not mistaken, uh, you've worked on Slumpland. This is like your third revision, correct? Yes, sir. So is this like your first like venture into like creating like manga and like co like comic books, like that type of media? Or have you ever worked on anything previously? So as you know, obviously, as a growing up, I've always wanted to like, I've always read manga and stuff, but I never really took it serious. But I also knew that to do it, I had to learn how to actually draw, yeah. you know? So that kind of, I was kind of realistic with myself early on to be like, okay, I can learn art, but I may not become a manga artist, but mm -hmm. eventually I got over that hill and I just started doing it, you know? So yeah it just it just happened really i i honestly have been making manga seriously since 2017. okay um that's when i took the leap where i was like yeah i'm gonna actually make a title that's read right to love and i want it to I want it to be my title my debut you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and maybe if i like this i'll make another title or one shot you know what i'm saying so it was it was kind of impulsive but it was it was i felt like it was bubbling in me my whole life you know yeah yeah so what what are uh some of the you know animes or mangas that you've read or consumed that kind of led you to this point okay okay so dragon ball shout out akira toriyama you know that's that's he's actually my top inspiration it's been my inspiration since the jump uh mm -hmm. naruto obviously um masashi kishimoto you know one piece ichiro oda gundam wing the whole gundam series actually i like gundam is my it's my ish, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. And Pokemon. Not to mention. <laughs> so. I get down on Pokemon so hard right here. Uh we got uh what the Scarlet Pokemon Scarlet. My kids are obsessed with it too, which is like I love seeing that cycle because now it's like we go to the store and it's like, you wanna get some Pokemon cards? Like let's rip a couple packs. Right, right, right. And so look, <laughs> we we gonna talk about that separately. Cause I'm I'm heavy into Pokemon as well. I'm, <laughs> okay, I'll tell you this. I've been able to emulate Ken Sugimori's art style that he used for the poke the original red and blue versions mm -hmm. like the, the art how they had that watercolor type of oh i love that so like i i've studied pokemon and read the pokemon adventures manga too so it's like i'm yeah we're gonna you know, talk, I, bro. I i yeah. love seeing their 3d models a ton but it's like the old school watercoloring was uh, like it just hit so differently back then mm -hmm. and it's like it hasn't been replicated since yes yes so with uh slumpland first of all i love the logo i think the logo is just such an awesome like touch to it. it's like perfect um you. you know how did it how did your first take on it look compared to your last hmm of slumpland huh okay so look honestly you can you can actually find that out whenever anybody can find that out uh if you go to manga plus creators uh my first original one was called go go slump king so that was the first iteration of Slumpland, which you can find on uh, Manga Plus Creators, which has a Kai in it, but it's a slightly different story, you know? So mm -hmm. it's like the pilot before the pilot. And then, um, yeah, from there, you can literally see my, like, mistakes and see how, like, my dialogue and stuff has changed and stuff. I learned how to control my pacing and everything. So you could definitely dissect that at your own time <laughs> anybody you know what I'm saying just search it up manga plus creators it's um in go go slump king that's what it's titled we have uh, or orlando on uh facebook uh saying uh seginal i th i think i pronounced that correctly he, yeah he's yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he's actually part of my uh part of the rap group i was talking about he's a part of slump gang oh that's awesome yeah let's so, go man uh so since you read you read the first chapter it's crazy he the one of the uh, the continents on that map is named after him. It's uh, called Cool Ridge. 
That's and so that, awesome. And it's named after off after uh, Orlando. That's awesome. Yeah, I was about to tell you, like when I first started this, one of the very thing first things that I noticed was just how much work and detail and like craft craftsmanship went into this. You have your own language um, for the uh, Daijin. Did I say that right? Of the, a Solterra? Jin, Jin. Jin. The Jin of the Solterra have their own language. You have your own decoder for it. So like there's parts in this manga where they're talking and you you use that decoder to see what they're saying. I thought that was awesome. You have your own like continental map. So like the yeah. world building in this like started off just like running. I loved it, man. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I know that there are other like nerds and geeks like me that like the the meta like that you know it's stuff that like like the decoder for instance typically i know how the attention span of a reader especially if they're checking something out for the first time it's like all right let me see if it's gonna reel me in if it's gonna hook me you know uh someone see a decoder they're like okay this is interesting and then they go a couple pages and see that it's actually being in use they're like oh, okay they're either gonna come back to it later because they're like okay i want to know what this person said or they're just gonna be like let me go and check and see what this person is saying now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I want to create that reader interaction. You know, like I want to I, add to it and I, read. I think the immersion was just off the charts. We have uh, Anthony Tone beats uh, Alvarez throwing a flex in chat as well. Welcome to the stream, Anthony. I hope you're having an awesome time. Yeah, what up, um, Primo? So let's talk a little bit about this world, you know, uh, Solterra. Let's talk about Akai. You know, what is the world of Slumpland? So essentially the world of Slumpland is, it's pretty post-apocalyptic for the most part. Um, it's a lot of canyons. You've got some, you got some lush areas and stuff, but there are other, like, it's crazy because I'm setting the story up on Soul Terra, but I'm like, quick spoiler, we're going to quickly get away from there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm really trying to like, it's, it's a very space oriented manga. You know, so it's like it's it's going to we're going to come back to Soul Terra much later. You know, this is where the foundation of everything goes. But it's uh, in the next chapter, I'm really going to like set it, set it up. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like the readers will be. OK, so this is what's going to happen next. And this is where we're going to take us. But there's a lot of monsters on Soul Terra and it's basically riddled with soul scouts. So the people that you saw with the, you know, the Akatsuki looking. Yeah. Folks, the soul scouts. They're basically police officers that prohibit the use of soul casting. So okay. you, can only, you can only use soul casting if you're among the ranks of soul scouts. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So random undocumented gin who aren't, you know, saying within the, I'll say the formation, they can't practice soul casting because then that'll create a rebellion or some such, you know what I'm saying? Like stuff like that. And then what is a soul casting? Like what, what are, you know, what's the powers involved with it? So it's basically channeling the, uh, the UV light from the sun into like a focused point in your body. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. the soul scouts, they technically are able to do that through like man-made mechanisms. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. not really organic. Akai, for instance, his is organic which is what I'm going to explain literally at the beginning of chapter two. Like I'm well into chapter two. It's like, I'm trying so hard not to spoil it, mm -hmm. but I'm going to release the second <laughs> chapter. I'm going to release the second chapter this month because I feel like it'll be the perfect, you know what I'm saying? Cohesion. And it'll answer any unanswered questions folks have to, uh, to that part, you know what I'm saying? But it's basically a uh, superheated punches and stuff. I took, how the stars and like everything work in the galaxy, like in real life. Mm -hmm. And I basically tried to implement it into that, but just imagine this. I, and this is a, this is a spoiler of chapter two. Essentially, Akai is able to channel the Saluna energy into the markings on his body. Oh, so, yeah. So I was, I, that's I was about to say, uh, Akai's design, his character design just looks badass. Like what all Thank went you. into that? Is I love like the the hair, like how it like blocks up, and then the designs as well. Uh, I'm Thank I'm happy you. to hear you kind of touched a little bit about the importance of those. Uh, that's so he's able to channel uh, through them. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like I said, the Soul Scouts they have more like they have technology to allow them to absorb that energy. So basically, a solar panel. They have like mm -hmm. a solar panel, and they'll be able to do that. Akai has a sacred ink on him like tattoo basically those ta those are tattoos that 
absorb the saluna energy you know what I'm that's saying? awesome but typically for any type of general gym there's a it's maxed out at 100 percent but no gin has ever been able to get to 100 percent soul density you see that akai was able yeah. to get to 10 percent. yes yeah soul scouts are capped at 25 percent you know so he, he was pretty much up there in that fight he was like okay that's why buddy was like okay hold on okay you you quite you know, let me break this this arm real quick <laughs> you know what i'm saying you, you you tripping a little bit you know what i'm saying but uh the whole thing is, is that you can imagine having an energy source, right? And you can draw as much energy from it as you want. As much as you want. You see somebody you don't like, oh damn, I gotta, I have to destroy this person. Saluna will give me all this energy so I can destroy them. Saluna will gonna be like, all right, here you go. But can your body handle, can your body handle all of this energy that I'm about to give you? Mm -hmm. And can you maintain that energy? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the whole thing. So Ooh. typically, they, they t no one has ever ever been able to get to 100% soul density because they they end up burning out before getting to that point. What does you that burnout I mean? look like? I mean, are they like physically like burning or is their body breaking apart? I'm glad you asked. So <laughs> there are two ways that you can do it. I can't really explain too deeply on the second part because I haven't revealed it yet. But so in real life, you have stars like the white dwarf and the red dwarf. And like, those are going to be two paths you can take. You're you, in both of those paths. You're definitely going to die. So it's like you're not going to live from either one. But let's mm -hmm. say if you become a white dwarf, that's if you, let's say like a typical person. If a typical no 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 typical person, they'll turn into a, a red dwarf, which means that they will burn out like to a crisp, and like <laughs> they're incinerated. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like that's it white dwarf means that they will basically be petrified turned to stone oh that's Whatever. cool you know what i'm saying so yeah you're clinically dead in both respects you know what i'm saying but let's say like this doesn't happen so i could say that like a kai uh, he burns out mm -hmm. into white dwarf mode let's say that he does that to save everyone from a villain you know what i'm saying he used that power but after that he petrified up now they have a statue of him somewhere like what did he do he achieved the the white dwarf mode and he saved us which is why he's here this is so it's almost have. like an honor it feels like you know so it's like that's how it is but the burnout is gonna be cool because they have these orbs over their heads mm -hmm. and i also just uh for anyone listening on my TikTok, i actually have explanations on the power system like i broke it down like in writing and everything so if anyone's ever interested in that you can swing by my TikTok. tock what's check your that. TikTok? uh seji bottle Everything and then we'll in. we'll put that link in the description for everyone that is watching on like youtube and facebook so you, you guys can just click on it real quick we have a uh, melody uh Bilali. sorry if i messed up the pronunciation what up kid good morning we have a leo laundry uh throwing some claps we have aj uh saucy the the concept and incorporation of spiritual is next level i really love how you pulled from like sources from like lunar and solar uh and and was able to like achieve like an energy like source from that i i think you, that that is awesome and you know how do we see that played out throughout the rest of uh uh, of this of some plan like do are we going to see like clans like fighting like full like war blown out like well what can we expect from later chapters like give us a little taste okay okay look all i'm gonna say is like i mentioned earlier we're not gonna be on soul terror for too long and each planet has a different you know what I'm saying set of customs and everything i've took a long time to like take my outside inspirations and put them in mm -hmm. but there will be a lot of uh there will be a lot of combat there will be a lot of comedy drama you know the the usual you know so yeah. as a as a as an author i'm gonna try my best to touch on all aspects of great storytelling to the best of my abilities while trying to keep the illustrations on point because i draw it all too you know what i'm saying so yeah i'm basically gonna just it's i'm gonna tug at the heartstrings a little bit but we're gonna do a lot of world building till we get to that point so definitely uh expect a lot of action so when you are you know being the writer and the artist you know when you're creating these pages and, and these panels what does that look like for you what do you uh what's your routine look like what type of you know mu do you play any music or what mindset do you like to achieve before you do this uh i listen to street fighter music a lot of drum and bass 
Pokemon music. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Don't, don't, give me, don't give me start. Hey, it's a quick sidebar. I'll be listening to all of the route themes from Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow up to Sapphire and Ruby because that's that was, you know what I'm saying, the OSTs were, were top tier, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, especially with Gold and Silver. So I listen to all of that. You know what I'm saying? So. Gold and Silver was like, you know, I when I first got into Pokemon, I remember when Yellow hit the shelf. And I like, yeah. my, my parents made me like work weeks and weeks and weeks. I, I yeah. found out it was like a $30 game. I'm like, you guys like extorted me. Right, right, like right. Much, much of like child labor to get this game. And then I remember when I played uh, Pokemon Gold for the first time, I'm like, dude, this is next level. Like day and night, you got a radio mm -hmm. station. Mm -hmm. um, oh my goodness. Like, and the, then the, you had the, 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 the additional eight badges at the end of the game uh, the, the experience point underneath the health bar i just love that seeing how how much longer you had until you uh, leveled up dude just, just so many awesome touches in silver and gold and then when they we did the soul the silver in heart gold on on the ds oh yeah yeah uh, yeah. oh uh, did that poke from, walker from a time where we couldn't see the ex exp bars going up it's like or that. It's like a, that Bane meme. It's like I was born in the dark. Right, right. Molded <laughs> in it. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, so, I mean, and do do you do these uh, digital or traditional for the art? Uh, both. I do both. So, uh, how, how does that look for you? Uh, I mean, do you do you start out like you know sketching on paper and then transferring it over to, to digital, or? Let's see. I got some stuff right here. Let me yeah, switch. For, for, for the most part, I do. You know, like I uh, sketched this piece and I actually posted this the other day. I scanned it in and then and I uh, did the line art and everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, this is another piece. Oh, that's awesome. That so is, is awesome. From, this is from the first iteration of Swamp Land I did, you know. So this is about two years old by this point. <laughs> So, uh, well, what was uh, coming from Akai's hand? Was it were those chains or, like, a, yeah. it, okay, is that going to be like a maybe an ability that he might unlock at some point? Uh, no, he was literally locked up in that episode. Oh, <laughs> 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 never mind. It's not looking too hot for him. Well, let me zoom you in on this one too. So yeah, this was like traditional. Obviously, I like, drew it all on paper, inked it, and then colored it. Then I threw it in on the uh, on the what you would call it the the scanner mm -hmm. and did all of that stuff. So I mean, what went into learning how to achieve you know the style that you wanted to hit? I mean, I'm I'm sure it took a, a little bit of work. Were you self taught? Uh, for the most part, yeah. You know, I took you know we all had like a little art class growing up mm -hmm. in school, but. I mean, she didn't really teach me nothing like that, but if, you know, because they they would force you what you had to like learn. They forced the curriculum on you. But yeah, yeah. I, my idol is literally in art, and this is like crucial for me as a black creator because they weren't, you know, black creators making manga when we were growing up. You know what I'm saying? So it was literally just the folks over east. They were the ones making manga. So that's literally why you see every black person making manga. They're damn near inspired by dragon ball or something in some capacities because mm -hmm. we didn't have that you know what i'm saying so i don't know i uh yeah that that literally will take me into a whole other conversation because i talk about this every day you know what i'm saying because people ask me about like the inspirations and all of that go check this out with us it's 100 percent free and you just hit 100 signups too congratulations on that study that is awesome how Thank do you feel you, about sir. that Hey man, look, I'm still riding on cloud nine. I just announced <laughs> it not even what, like a couple hours ago. Mm -hmm. So I'm very appreciative of every single one of you that took the time to click on that link. You know what I'm saying? We've been having a little bit of lag, but I know that y'all, y'all, y'all got me. Y'all still been chilling. Y'all been patient. I appreciate y'all for still signing up and checking out the, you know, the titles that we have. There's gonna be more. You know what I'm saying? Like I see mm -hmm. him hovering over the, the magazine. We got more news about the magazine, but we're going to talk about that in the summer. We got plans, okay. you know what I'm saying? We got plans. I'll tell you, you know, off off the record, you know what I'm saying? All right, but, yeah, hey. but there's definitely, to everyone else that's watching right now, we have like some serious stuff that's serious, innovative stuff that's going to be introduced this summer. You know what I'm saying? So, but the actual motivation that we wanted to have a platform for our stuff, you know what I'm saying, where we can just just be there, you know what I'm saying? We don't have to worry about upholding to the standards of, let's say, 
if I had a comic on DC or Dark Horse or Image or Shonen Jump or Shueisha Viz, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to worry about that. We can create in peace and then mm -hmm. we can just gar garner our own little fan base, little community. We have uh, Crow uh, Hayashi. And once again, sorry if I'm butchering any pronunciations. Congratulations. We have Prince Up, Pandora Slump, Land Fire. Can I voice Akai? Uh, so, yes. hey, let's get some voice <laughs> acting going on. That that would be awesome. He's stupid, man. It's, yeah, it's a meme. He, <laughs> hey, it's a meme. He just tried to troll me just now with that one. <laughs> So give me a little direction. Where where should we go to check this out? You know, we're here. You know, what what would you like to show off while we're here? Okay, okay. Um, so we uh we got the main the main page right here. We mm -hmm. scroll down a little bit, you'll see that we have our uh the newest arrivals, which is everything right now because everything we just dropped everything at once. So you can literally read all of our titles. Uh, Fall of Gods. I want to speak in, and uh, unrivaled. I want to speak on those two specifically. Mm -hmm. Those two are featured guest titles, which is a position on our platform where we basically allow you to submit your manga to us. And you can just, and then even submit because you uploaded yourself, but you can put your works up there and it could be up there for our audience to see as well. It, there's no fee or nothing like that. It's just a matter of if, if it wins the wow review, you know what I'm saying, reviewing board type thing you know what I'm this saying? is yeah. gorgeous too holy crap like this is i, I love this the style yeah and everything crazy. Uh, is everything uh to the left on here uh there if they alternate okay yeah no this is gorgeous this is awesome and you said you wanted to check out uh, unrivaled as well yeah, yeah 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 so both of those are like featured guest titles that's why i want to put the spotlight on those so Saying that to say that anyone can have their stuff up there, you know what I'm saying? But we're not the type that's like, it's not like Webtoon where you can, we have like 3,000 users with mm -hmm. 20,000 manga up there. Like, we still have some exclusivity on this so we can garner actual community. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, we have uh, Frank Ford uh, over on Facebook. Shout out from the gang. Hey, thank you for joining us, Frank. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I want y'all to, you can check. He has a manga out on here too called Gang. He's the author, creator of that. So it's uh we definitely have some 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 heat, man, and we have more coming. You know, we have as we do more like interviews and like with other people and everything, I'm sure that it's gonna the outreach is gonna spread and we'll get more people's titles on here. You know what I'm saying? More innovative titles. That's awesome. and you uh so you'll have a magazine coming out, you said in the summer as well. What's that magazine gonna feature on it? Oh uh, well it's we're we're working on the magazine, but it's it, it would basically be Shonen Jump, like a Shonen Jump magazine where okay. we have all of the titles on there, the the most recent chapters, you know, what I'm saying with some contests, sweepstakes, you know what I'm saying, interviews from inside of the creator's mind. Not well, not the interviews in the mind, but you know what I'm saying, interviews with creators on what goes on in their minds mm -hmm. while they're creating these titles. You know, so we want to create like a little intimate community yeah yeah it'd be really cool to get some of these creators on like a big group chat and kind of just go through some of these pages and let them each talk about their work i think that'd be awesome to kind of showcase it more hey man wait whenever you got the time and you you willing that door is open for you like this is gorgeous. so you said this right here is a uh, frank's work uh the gang yes awesome frank this is gorgeous holy crap Seji, you are doing something big with this site. I love this. So when did you? When, so when did this first get created? Uh, the idea or the site? The site. Uh, well, I mean both. Both. Let's talk both. Okay. So I'm a very fast worker, and my colleagues can uh, vouch for that. I literally could be like, "Yo, so we created a company. Hey, Cody, we finna make a company. We agree <laughs> on it on this stream. Right after this stream is over, I'm finna go make a website for it and everything. Right now. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I'm. I'm it's like that. But me and Khalil, basically, like I said, we just wanted a platform. We were like, hey, so when we make our manga, where are they going to be uploaded to? And then we thought about it. And we was like, uh, Webtoon isn't really going to cater to our stuff. I just know that for a fact. You know what I'm saying? So why don't we just make our own website, you know? And then we just garner the fan bases over to this way. You know what I'm saying? It'll be a process, but it'll be something you know worth building and worth being proud of you know what i'm saying yeah yeah so 
So uh, for, uh, for any creators that are looking to get their work uploaded, you know, what, what, what are you looking for? You know, what type of uh, qualifications uh, does it take to get onto a, on Sorrow Go? Um, honestly, you, your story just got to slap, you know what I'm saying? And you got to, mm -hmm. I honestly try to work with people who are willing to <laughs> put in the same, you know what I'm saying? Like the same amount of work as the creators over East, but not the same amount of work at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, we got to yeah. try to like overwork ourselves, but I want to work around people who take this as serious as me. You know what I'm saying? Like how with you and the podcast and everything and the interviews only thing that's going to get in the way of that is if you would the the, the young ones if, if it interferes with that that's the only thing that's going you know what I'm saying so it's like i need people that's going to be as serious with me you know what i'm saying like with the, of their craft just like that because that's how i treat mine it's just like how you treat yours bro mm -hmm. you know? i mean so, you 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 have to because like there's going to be times where you're not going to want to do it and that passion has to feel that it has to feel that downtime so you keep chugging forward Yep, you understand, man. You totally <laughs> <Yeah>. understand. <laughs> and then right here is uh, Prince Pedora's uh, work as well. I'm just loving all of this. This is all... So how often uh, can uh, viewers and readers expect uploads? Like, how often uh, does that happen on here? <clears throat> all right, so I guess this is the time to say that, because that's the. I guess that's the question that I need to answer. Sorry, fellas. I'm going to check. But, uh... <laughs> so... We're releasing our first chapters. All of us have our first chapters. A few of us have more than our first chapters because they're featured guest titles, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So it, but for as far as the originals, you know what I'm saying? We um we are going we are planning to debut our second chapters in the first physical run of our magazines. That's awesome. And we're just planning on we're planning on having that prepped and rolled out where we can serialize magazines every month and i'm saying you all would be able to get you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. actual magazines with all of our titles every month you know what i'm saying just like old school shonen jump it wouldn't be once every couple months every month you could get a magazine and right now we're basically just putting in the work so that we don't have to rush to get all these things done so just expect a lot of releases from our manga this summer that's awesome and i i love the actual magazine part of it too that's it's going to be like world changing to actually hold it in your hands like to open yeah. it up be able to like that that fresh magazine smell it's just yeah. phew, something about holding your own product in your hand it's just it, it just awakes that passion and right here is that world map i just love this so much yeah. uh so you said cool ridge is on here right here yeah right in the middle that's awesome <laughs> yep and there's a lore to each place you know so it's gonna be there's a lot i made sure not to to exposition dump in this mm -hmm. there's a lot to go into it you know what i'm saying so for the, the folks that did say that they, they were overwhelmed i'm like man this may not be the title for you yeah <laughs> it's, gonna get, it's gonna get crazy you know what i'm saying but see that's the beautiful thing that's the beautiful thing because let's say like if you were overwhelmed right cody let's say if you got overwhelmed just by the first three pages and you were like you know what Seji, i love you bro but i just shoot me the next chapter i'll let you know what i think but this is too much for me you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying i'll be like that's cool, Cody, because you know why? We got 11 more titles on this site. Yeah. You can check those out. And one of those are, are bound to get, you know, to fit perfectly with you. You know what I'm saying? So it's all just reciprocation and it's all just redirecting the positive energy. Like people think that that's corny and that don't work, but it's just like, hey, that's why we here and they there. You feel me? Absolutely. Everyone <laughs> watching right here is the link. It is 100% free to share this wherever you can, you know, Facebook, Twitter, word of mouth is 100% free. Let's get 200 signups. Let's make that happen. I think we can make that happen fast as hell. Let's get, let's aim for three. We have um, a lot of hype in chat. Seji, thank you so much for coming on and breaking down not only your your, your book, but uh, this awesome site as well. And I just love what you're doing uh, and how you're bringing the community together. And, you. and you know, really, like like you said chris said like you're 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 putting something in place that wasn't there and it's i always love to see that when people go out of their way to create that and fulfill that niche mm -hmm. because like someone has to so it's awesome that it's you man thank you sir i truly truly appreciate 
the opportunity to come here on your platform and elaborate more on the platform you feel me? yeah I, I, I feel like we could talk hours not only about just your work but the creative process but unfortunately we do have to cut it short now Saji, i do always love asking for a little bit of advice uh and that is you know i think you would be perfect for this question for anyone mm -hmm. looking to chase their passion you know just keep going at it and fulfill their dream what advice would you offer them if you just had one thing you could say to them don't listen to other people who really don't value your best interests. And if they don't also have proof of them yielding positive results from the advice that they had given to you. I just wanted to say that in one sentence so I didn't have to like, you know what I'm saying? So no, yeah. it makes sense. It makes sense. Like there's a lot of people out there who just say they, they word vomit, it almost feels like, and they're not even doing anything. It's like, okay, well, where are you? Like, why are you, are you, are you, are, are you just projecting because you're not achieving this? Like, so trial and error, you figure out <laughs> how you do things on your own. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. that's all I have to say. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so what are you outside of creating? What are you consuming? You know, video games, uh, TV shows, manga, anime, you know, what, where, what are you watching? Um, man, I haven't really been watching too much I, I literally just watch reruns i'm watching naruto with my lady so we've been we've been re-watching that i just put her on today where you know? where, where, where where you at in, in in the series where are we at now mm -hmm. oh man we are we are in the fourth shinobi war where they oh that's Madara. the best oh my you know, god like, maj was a bat dude when he when he just stopped down <laughs> it just started like doosh, 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 doosh. it's yeah, like dude, yeah. jesus christ you feel oh, me? So, yeah. yeah. We definitely just got past that. So like now Sasuke finna finna resurrect them people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So because he needs some answers. You know what I'm saying? So we at that Dude, part. You you remember uh uh when uh what is it? Uh Drunk Lee, when he, when he drank, uh, he thought he was uh, taking his medicine, but it was uh, uh alcohol yeah, and he Sasuke, got all drunk. Yeah. Yes. Fuck Dude, I love it was fucking beautiful, dude. He was a yeah. badass. And dude's like trying to stab him. He's just like wasted, like just rolling over. <laughs> right. <laughs> he fell asleep. They got back up. Right. Yeah, that was funny. We have uh, Frank Ford. We live. And then Jeffrey Robinson. I can't wait for more. Guys, I'm gonna we're going to have to get a part two on this, Seji. This was so much hype. I appreciate you stopping by. Everyone watching, right there is the link in chat. It is 100% free to support this and share it wherever you can. That being said, I hope you all have a lovely Friday. But most importantly, guys, keep it geekly.